hello guys welcome back to the chart tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix harvest stellar is not launching or it is getting completely crashing and it is having ue4 fatal error black screen freezing and stuttering on your pc and how you can fix this app right now as you can see i'm having the game on the steam and it is available and it costs you around i think it's around 2000 or something i think it's 2999 so let me directly get into the topic without wasting time so the first one what you have to do is when you are having this issue that is harvestella is not launching or any other issue which i mentioned above all you have to do is you just have to do a normal restart for doing a normal restart you just have to go over here in the start then you just have to click over here go for a restart and most probably after restarting the issue has to be fixed I'm saying it's a basic troubleshoot and this has worked for many of the users. So you can try this out. It might work, but I'm not saying if it's not working, you don't have to panic. You just have to move to the next one. We have uh, uh, parallel uh, workarounds. So next one is all about you have to allow the game exe to Windows security. For that, you just have to go over here. You can search for control panel. You just have to open the start go over here and search for control panel and just open this now from here you just have to go to uh, windows security click on windows defender firewall and there is an option called turn windows defender firewall or click on allow an app through so if you click on allow an app through as you can see here you will be able to see all the files including harvestella so you just have to scroll down and you have to navigate to it so you just have to scroll down and you have to navigate it so if it's if you're not able to find the harvestella here that means you don't have to worry you have to add it so allow another app so you just have to browse it so if you wanted to browse it you just have to navigate to where the game is installed in most cases this will be in the c so i'll just open this so i'll just scroll down and go to uh, program files 86 and then i just have to scroll down a little bit and navigate to steam now from here i have to select steam apps then I just have to select common. Then as you can see, I found Harvestella. So I have to select this and I have to select this particular icon over here. Then I just have to go for open. Now I just have to click on add. So uh, I have to add it up over here. Then I just have to do the necessary. And once it is done, you just have to close this and go back to the steam and try to launch the game. And this is what you have to do. Even after trying this, if it's still not working, then we just have to move to the next one. Next one is all about you have to do a clean installation of graphics card. So before that, you just have to update your graphics card. For that, you just have to go to the task manager, right click and navigate to device manager. Now from here, you just have to click on display adapters and check which is your gra graphics card. That is mine is Nvidia and select the number. Okay, this is RTX 2080. So I have to right click and go to update driver search automatically. As you can see, this is up to date. And also, I'll be providing two links in the description that will take you to both ofi official NVIDIA as well as AMD. So over here in the official, as you can see, this is Geoforce, like you said. So you have to select the product series that is mine is RTX 2080. So you have to check whether I'm able to find 2080 over here. So I have to select the respective one. And if it is RTX series, you just have to select the RTX series. You, have, you should not be mentioning anything else. So over here, you will be able to find and select the operating system that is windows 11 and if it is any other things just select accordingly then just go for start search and when i click on this one i found this right now as you can see on the october 27 2022 in uh, a driver version latest one is 526.47 and before that on october 28 2022 that is 522.30 and we are having 522.25 this is what we are having so many of the users in the past, even for the game like these, they are having crashing issue when they download and install 526.47. So I am suggesting you should not be downloading this, but you can download any other things from this, which is quite uh, less below date. Comparing with October 27, it is fine with October 18. So just download this and install it. If you are having this, you just install it. And you can see whether you are able to fix the issue or not. Because if it is already updated to the version 526.47, you can check it from here. You just have to go there, right click on the properties, then just go to the driver and you can understand which is the latest version that you're running. That is uh, over here. You can see the version 
So if you wanted to roll it back, you can roll it back. Here I have already done this. So there is no option and it is completely grayed out. But in a case, this will be available. So just click on the rollback option. Once you're done with the roll rollback, that means you're downgrading the graphics card. Then you just have to download the respective one. Okay, you can download this, I think, because uh, if you're having the issue with this, just go for this one. Once it is done, download and install it. You're good to go with this and you are good to go and simultaneously if you are on the amd just select the respective one graphics card select the model select the respective everything just, just submit it then you can download it from here also and this is what you can do and how you can download it as you can see right now this is getting downloaded which is around 802 mb so you can download the same for uh, over here also you can download it so which is around 546 mb you can download and install it once after installing you just have to go back to the steam and try to launch the game and most probably they will be working fine and even after trying if it's still not working the next is you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that you just have to go over here in the start and you have to search for graphics settings now from here you just have to see that as they have already added these games so most probably when you're doing this for the first time this will not be available so you just have to browse it for that you just have to click over here you just have to select local disk C. Like I said earlier, you have to go to program files, navigate to Steam app, sorry, Steam folder. So you will be able to find Steam here. So just navigate to Steam. Okay. So program, okay. Steam, now just navigate to Steam apps. Open Steam apps, then click on common. Now we are having the Harvestella over here. Just select this one, select the icon, go for add. Right now, as you can see, it is added. Now we have to do one more step. That's called you have to uh, uh, do in it on option. You have to click on the option. Just change this to high performance and go for save. Once it is done, you just have to close this, go back to the Steam and try to launch the game and you will be good to go. And this is what you have to do. And move to the next one. If the game is not even running, you just have to launch the game in two way. Either you have to launch it from the folder of installation folder or you can run as a game as an administrator. For that, you just have to select the harvest teller, right click and go to properties. Now from here, click on the local files and click on browse. So this will very easily take you to the game installed folder like this. So you have to either launch the game from here itself instead of Steam or else you have to run the game as an administrator. For that, just click over here. You'll be getting the option run as administrator. You can go in that way. Or you can go to show more options and go to compatibility, set run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for ok. Then launch the game and most probably the issue will be completely fixed. Even after trying with this, if it's still not working, the next is all about you have to install Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be providing link in the description. So you have to download accordingly. If you're on 64 bit, just download this one. And if it is 86 bit, just download this one. So I have already downloaded and installed this one on my PC. So uh, I'm not showing that, but you can just install the .exe by opening over here. And most probably after installing respectively, according to your system, if it is 86, just go for it. If it's 64, go for it. And once it is done, you just have to see whether you are able to fix the issue or not. That is what you have to do. And moving to the next one is all about, you have to do is you just have to disable Steam overlay and close all overlay app. So overlay apps are just like Discord and any other unwanted things. So when you are trying to launch the game, they will be running in the background. So you should be go to over here, right click and go to task manager and make sure if unwanted things are running in the background, if it is running, just end the task. That is what you have to do. You just have to end the task for these games. You can do it by yourself. And if it is not that in the case, you have to disable the steam overlay. For that, you just have to right click and go to properties. Now from here, as you can see under general, you will be able to see enable the steam overlay option. So make sure this is disabled. And if it is enabled, just disable it and then launch the game. That is what you have to do. Moving to the next one is all about you have to perform a clean boot. That is what you have to do. Perform a clean boot. So for that, you just have to do is you just have to go over here and search for system configuration. Sorry, you have to type a system configuration. Click over here. Now just go to services. As you can see, uh, you just have to click the first one. You have to make sure this is hide all Microsoft services is uh, checked and go for disable all. Once you are successfully disabled all this, you just have to close this, go to the Steam and launch the game. And this might have worked and this might have worked in the past for many users. So I'm saying this, you can do this out. 
So next one is update your windows. That is very important. So you have to make sure that you're on the latest version for that. Just go to the settings and go to windows update and make sure that you are on the latest version of windows or if you're having any kind of update, just update it. As you can see, we are having the download available. So download and install it. And once after that, you just have to launch the game after doing a restart after update every time do a restart and launch the game that might work. Next one is all about you have to verify integrity of game files. So as you can see, we are on the Harvestella here. So you can you need to verify because sometimes verify fix a lot of problem. I mean, it fixes all the corrupted files and unwanted files or if any files are missing. So you just have to right click over here. Then you just have to go to properties. OK, now just go to local files and click on verify integrity of game file. So this is actually a fix. If any files are corrupted, if any files are missing and if any files are having any trouble, all these kind of issues will be fixed from here. And this is actually a lot of fix. And we have to move to the next one. Let you have to wait this till it completed 100 percentage. So let me show you the next step. Next step is all about you have to increase the virtual memory. So for that, you should be knowing the your PC spec. I mean, if your laptop or PC, you have to know what is your RAM. For that you just have to go over here navigate to settings just go to system now scroll down and navigate to up about and from here you are able to see that right now minus 32 gb okay minus 32 gb and right now this is running in the 64 bit so what i have to do is i just have to go over here in the search now i have to search view advanced system setting i have to open this right now when i open this let me close this when I open this, I have to click on advanced, then just to settings. Now I have to select advanced. And right now, as you can see, uh, it is on the program and I have to click on change. And now from here, I have to make sure this is unticked. So this is I have to untick, keep the same. If it is ticked, you have to untick it. Then you have to select the respective uh, disk. OK, if it is any other disk, for example, not in C, but you are having D and E. And if the game is installed in D, then select the D. So right now I'm ha only having the C, so I'm selecting the C and if I'm having any other disk, I'll be probably if the game is installed over there, I'll be selecting that one. Once it is done, you just have to go over here and click on custom size. Right now you have to give the value for initial size and maximum size. Always remember the initial size is 1.5 times the RAM. So we have to do a calculation. For that we just have to search calculator. So I'll open this. Okay. So I'll keep this over here. I'll keep this over here. So what I have to do is I just have to do a calculation. OK, so what I have to do is I have to first convert. So initial is all about 1.5 total RAM. Like I said, my RAM is 32 GB. So I have to convert into MP for that. I have to multiply this 1024. OK, so I'll do one again. 32 into. Sorry. OK, OK, 32 into 1024 that is 32768 now i have to multiply it with 1.5 that is 1.5 times the total ram that is 49152 is my value for initial size so i'll keep this now i have to find the value for maximum size so maximum size is three times the total ram so ram is 32 gb so i have to convert it into mb that is 10 Two four, so that is thirty two thousand seven hundred and sixty eight. Now I have to multiply this. Okay, now I have to multiply this into three, so that is ninety eight thousand three not four. So I have to copy this and I have to paste it. Okay, once it is done, you just have to go for OK, and once it is successfully done, you just have to go back to the Steam, then launch the game, and most probably this will be completely fixed. And even after, if it's not working, the next is all about you have to disconnect multiple monitors if it is connected and you have to unplug all the USB devices, even the joystick. And if you're having any Logitech wheels, just unstick it. Then everything you have to un uh, uncheck it completely. Then after launching the game, you have to connect it back. If you are there is necessary, if you're playing the game on the joystick, first you have to uh, just remove it. Then once it is all launched successfully, you have to connect it back. And the last and the least one is all about you have to uninstall the game for that you just have to click over here go to the properties sorry i'll show that click over here go to manage then uninstall the game then reinstall it back but while reinstalling make sure that you are installing the game on any other local disk if you are having the local just uh, install it on any other 
And once it's successfully done, you're good to go with the issue on how to fix Harvestilla is not launching or crashing or it is having UAE fatal error, black screen, freezing and stuttering and how you can fix this app. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.